Hi, my name is Ryan Jayton. I'm from Orem, Utah. And uh, welcome to my little piece of heaven. Um, thank you for joining me. I wanted to share some information with you. I want to tell you a little bit about the Moab Motors program. Tell you a little bit about myself and um, what the experience I've had with Moab has been so far. I've been with Moab for about a year now. I was introduced from a friend of mine, said that Moab was doing some fantastic things in the marketplace and suggested I take a look at it. I actually started working for Moab on contract, worked for them on the corporate side of things before I became an affiliate. And so I got to see things on the inside. I got to see how they work and I got to see really what Matt has put together and what he does for people and, and does for his affiliates. Um, a little bit about my background, I started in a traditional corporate America environment. I worked for big businesses. Um, I can remember 15 years ago being introduced to the internet and being told that the you know there would come a day when more products and services would be sold online than any other place, you know, any other medium or any other marketplace. And, uh, and I wanted to believe that because I thought the internet was fantastic. I thought it was revolutionary. Um, I could never imagine it would become what it is today. Um, so I'd been involved in internet marketing directly or inter indirectly for probably the last 15 years, um, but mostly from a corporate side. It was about three years ago where I'd have a very serious conversation with myself about what I wanted my life to look like. And back then, um, interestingly enough, it always revolved around money revolved around I want to earn more money or make more money and when that was my number one pursuit when that was my goal was to make more money um, I didn't make more money and and life was not very fulfilling and I can remember the day where I changed my goals I changed my priorities and my priorities changed from making lots of money to simply just being happy so I decided that I needed to do things and that made me happy things that I enjoyed I had to build a lifestyle that I could uh, that I could just live life to its fullest. And working for a corporation or working for a company isn't bad. I mean, you can make a great living, you can build a retirement, but it wasn't my style. It wasn't for me. Um, I could put the shirt and tie on every day, but it just it's not something I enjoyed. I much rather look like this. And I know I look probably homeless, but uh, you know this is just what it, this is where I'm most comfortable. So I decided then that I would build some type of business where I could live life, as cliche as it sounds, on my terms. And my terms were very simple. I wanted to enjoy my family more. Um, my wife and I have a very large family. We, we enjoy our family, but if I was getting up at six in the morning, getting dressed and driving an hour to work and working all day and then coming home, it didn't matter how much money I made or how much money I had. If I wasn't spending time with the people I love the most, um, it just wasn't right for me. Um, I had heard a quote um, a long time ago that stuck with me and it's one of my personal mantras. And it says that there is no success in the world that can compensate for failure in the home. Well, I started seeing those types of things in my life. I started seeing some failures, quite honestly, in my home. And when I, when I left corporate America and I came out into this world of entrepreneurship, I came out in this world of internet marketing, um, it's the first time that I felt like I could take a deep breath. I felt like I, it was for me. I felt like I found a home um, in this internet marketing world. And, and so as I looked around for companies to really plant my flag with, um, I was consulting with several different companies and I got introduced to Moab. And um, Moab was an international company. They had multinational reach. Um, they had a large client base. They were growing fast. They had a young entrepreneur that was running it who seemed to have a lot of the same goals and aspirations as I did. And, and so I, I worked for them. And I worked for them for about, a, about six months before I realized that uh, what the company did was powerful. I realized that it works. See, from my side of things on the corporate side of Moab, I got to see how many affiliates were joining our program. I got to see how much money they were making. I got to see the lifestyle they were living. And the more that I saw that, the more I realized that, that I just might've found a home. So I did, I've been here a year, I'm absolutely enjoying it. I get to see and work with a lot of people. I get to travel the world with my wife and it's just something that I wouldn't trade for anything. Fast forward, um, probably about three months later after that, um, I started talking to my wife about this program inside of Moab for affiliates. It was called Moab Merck. And what it was is that if you produced as an affiliate, if you produced sales and you were doing well, Moab would actually pay for you to go out and buy a Mercedes. And, and when I saw the program originally, I, I thought, Mercedes are nice cars, I got to admit. 
but, but it's not my style. If you, if you look around, I'm sitting in my backyard. I live next to a lake. I live up in the mountains. My wife and I are avid snowboarders and wakeboarders and bicyclists and runners and, and, and driving around in Mercedes just wasn't really my, my, uh, my style. About January of 2015, um, Matt realized that most people um, thought Mercedes were nice, but they're in the same boat I was. They didn't really want a Mercedes. And so he changed the name of the program and he changed it to Moeb Motors. The, the first thing that popped into my mind was, oh, now I can go buy a, a different car. I don't have to buy a Mercedes, I can buy something else. And so my wife and I got online and I was always, every night, I was online searching for fancy cars and exotic cars because you know, it didn't have to be a Mercedes. And, and I kept gravitating towards these sports cars, these little two-seater sports cars. Um, I don't know if you can tell it, but I'm six foot four. I don't really fit in a two-seater sports car, but I was, but I wanted one. You know, it's kind of a status symbol. I think is kind of a evidence to myself that I had succeeded or that I had done something good. And uh, I'll never forget it. My wife came to me in the middle of January, and she said, uh, "You know what? If we buy a, a Porsche or a Lamborghini or something like that," she goes, "Those are nice, but you realize that only two people fit in a Porsche." And and I laughed and I said, "Okay, what's?" Where are you going with this? And she said, our entire family can fit in a boat. And my eyeballs got about this big around. And I, my first thought was, well, we're supposed to buy a car in the Mo Motors program. And I got this little you know, smirk in my, in my smile and I, I called that Matt. So I said, Matt, um, you know in the United States, we don't call automobiles motors. That might be an Australian thing or a European thing. I'm not sure, but, um, for Mo Motors, can we buy anything with a motor? And I, and I chuckled a little bit because I didn't know how he was gonna to respond to it, but he said, well, give me an example. And I said, well, my wife and I, we have six children. We love the outdoors. I mean, we've got this gorgeous lake in our backyard, for goodness sakes, it's two miles from our house. I said, we wanna buy a boat. It has a motor, what do you think? And uh, he thought about it for a minute and he said, yeah, I think that'll work. And I got so so excited. So uh, three days later, we went out and bought a boat. And um, my wife to this day um, will tell you that it was her idea. <laughs> and that's okay because I appreciated it. And I gotta tell you, reaching a level of success or reaching a level of result that can evidence itself in your life that supports your lifestyle, to me was just, it was a blessing. It was a, it was a way for me to share my results and my successes with my family. Um, and the more I think about me driving around in a little two-seater sports car with my wife and leaving my kids at home with a babysitter, it just didn't fit for the way we live our lives. We like to do everything all out. We like to do them all together. And I gotta tell you, um, buying the boat was one of the most important things that we've done recreationally for our family in a long time. Um, they look forward to it. We have a lot of fun on it. Um, we have a lot more fun than we ever would have in a sports car. And that's one of the things that I appreciate about Moab and that I really respect what, about what Matt's built is that 
you can choose your lifestyle. When you reach a certain level of result or a certain level of success, you get to choose what your life looks like and you get to choose how those, those rewards evidence themselves in your life. Now, I'm not saying that you won't ever catch me driving around in a little two-seater sports car, because that still may happen. But for right now, we are very happy with our brand new boat. We thank Moeb and we thank the Moeb Motors program for, for allowing us this opportunity. And I can tell you that we're gonna have many summers to come where we are enjoying this beautiful landscape and this fun, this fun recreational vehicle. So thanks, Moeb, appreciate it.